Hey man, I've been hearing recently about some guy named Dolken or Falcon or some shit. Uh, he's new in town, but have you heard of it? Yeah, man. No, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really bother. He's no harm to us. He's no harm to us. I mean, look, we have legacy, man. Legacy. A few moments later. Hello guys, it's Gameplays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Ooh. Today's video is about DirectX 11 and 12, because both are in this video, versus Vulkan. Okay, for the tests I'm using a Ryzen 5 3600 overclocked manually to 4.2 GHz and an RX 5700 XT at 1950 MHz on core and 1840 MHz on the VRAM, okay? In this video I will show you a bit of what is DirectX and what is Vulkan, mostly Vulkan because the, the DirectX part was in this previous video of DirectX 11 versus DirectX 12, so if you want to check it, links in the description. So basically, what is an API, what is DirectX, what is Vulkan, and after that, the tests. Simple, 6 games tested at 1080p, 1440p and 2160p 4K. The only game that is tested at uh, only ultra-wide, so 1080p, 1080p ultra-wide, 1440p ultra-wide and 1620p ultra-wide is World War Z because it forces the native resolution, so I can't really test 16x9 resolutions in this game. So guys, without any further delays, don't forget hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. And see you in the conclusion. So, like I explained in the previous video of DirectX 11 versus DirectX 12, DirectX is a collection of application programming interfaces, the so-called APIs. They serve to handle tasks related to multimedia, especially gaming and video programming. An API basically is what tells the hardware what and how to work with software, meaning that the closer the API is to the metal per se, more efficient it will be since it won't have as many software layers to pass through. The X12 and Vulkan are new APIs and both have pretty decent amount of code based on the AMD's mantle, which was donated to Kronos in order to later have a standardized low-level API in the gaming industry. They are intended to offer a way better CPU workload distribution across multiple cores, giving us higher performance and a more balanced CPU-GPU usage. Gladly for all of us, things did go well and here we are. Vulkan was announced firstly in 2015 at Game Developers Conference, and it keeps evolving every day. Developers are finally realizing the perks of using Vulkan as a graphics API, and many recent AAA games, AAA games, are using it. So, let's see how a recently launched API compares against DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 from the giant of tech, Microsoft. The first game of today is an addition to my game list and it is World War Z, a post-apocalyptic game, basically a third person left for that with some improvements. This game was only tested at ultra-wide since it forces the native aspect ratio of the monitor, so these are the only resolutions I could test here, so yes, you're seeing well, 1620p ultra-wide. One of the things that has been seen before in the side-by-side -side comparison is the amount of RAM used. The X11 was using around 12 GB, while Vulkan was using around 9.5 GB and giving us better results. In any resolution tested, Vulkan was superior and the most astonishing point is that Vulkan 1% lows are almost the same as the average FPS numbers with DirectX, 
Meaning that we not only have higher frame rates, but we also have higher smoothness, which is great. Basically, free performance. Moving on. The second game is Rainbow Six Siege, that got a Vulcan update last year. And guess what? Yeah, another pretty decent performance boost. Using ultra settings with 100% render scale, we had a boost of around 20 average FPS and 23 FPS in the 1% lows, at 1080p. At 1440p and 4K, the difference is even better. Once again, the 1% lows with Vulcan are on par with the averages using the X11, which is astonishing. Basically, if you have this card and play at 1440p, you go from having drops below 120 FPS to being at over 135 FPS 99% of times. And this is indeed a big deal for people using high refresh rate monitors. Now a game that I basically downloaded to test in this video, Ghost Track and Breakpoint, using very high settings. And boy, this game presents one of the most massive boosts I've seen so far. The CPU bottlenecks that this game shows at 1080p with the X11 get completely solved once you change to a superior API like Vulkan, and that makes the FPS boost be huge. Even at 1440p very high settings, the difference is noticeable, and you get around 10 more average FPS and a mild increase of 5 FPS in the 1% lows. From my point of view, the X11 completely bottlenecks in the CPU department, and once we change to Vulkan, the CPU and GPU start to get properly used, and that is why we see such a huge increase at 1080p. I can only imagine that for daily players of this game, Vulcan was a miracle. The fourth game is another addition to my tests, and it is Strange Brigade. This time we have a battle not between the X11 and Vulcan, but the X12 and Vulcan. And it can be seen at this time, the difference is mild. Both the X12 and Vulcan are doing a pretty good job delivering us over 160 average FPS at 1080p and over 120 average FPS at 1440p. This game is completely playable at 4K also, with the FPS being 99% of times over 60, which is great. Overall, pretty good optimization from both APIs. This game couldn't fail to appear in this video, and it is Red Dead Redemption 2. And holy fucking shit! I mean, we are still talking about the X12 and not 11, but still the difference is huge. In all resolutions apart from 4K, we see that the X12 has somehow higher minimums. But the difference in averages is huge, 
as can be also seen in the side-by-side -side comparison shown before. Even at 4K the difference is a game changer. Using high settings you go from 30 average FPS to 40, which at 4K is a colossal improvement and will definitely make the game feel way smoother. Overall using Vulkan API is a must in this game, unless of course that you want to be stuck with really bad experience. I'll go with you. The last game that I'm testing today is Dota 2, a game that I haven't tested for quite some time. This test consists basically of 3 minutes on top lane at max settings. I myself customize the settings to the max possible, not the max preset, the max possible in the game. Take in consideration that this is a gameplay and has a higher margin of error due to that. As for the results, well, we can see that they are all very close, even when changing resolution. This because this game isn't very heavy, so we don't have a, a GPU bottleneck before 4K, even at max settings. In terms of APIs, this game will have the same FPS using DX11 or Vulkan. This may be due to the fact that the game engine was made for DX9. So, porting it to the X11 or Vulcan won't have a significant change, since the game engine is too old to take much advantage of that. But this is only my two cents, of course. Overall, absolutely no need to change APIs, and that value you see in the 1% lows of 4K gameplay, well, it is due to that. Gameplay. And the strange result. Let's go to the conclusion. Concluding guys! So concluding guys, after the results you've seen, well, what is your opinion? Well, my opinion is just like, mostly, mostly like your opinion will be, which is Vulcan is the best. Of course, Vulcan is the main API and like I said in previous videos, Vulcan should be used nowadays in every single game, okay? It is the best API we have available now. The X12 is not bad if well implemented, but as we can see, um, Vulkan can take advantage of, or in fact it's the contrary, most game engines can take advantage of Vulkan API right now. For example, as we've seen in Ghost Track and Breakpoint, phew, Jesus, the FPS difference is massive. For example, of course it was using the X11, but with the X11 uh, the CPU was, bo was bottlenecking a lot and it is a Ryzen 5 3600 overclocked and it was bottlenecking even with 38 megahertz, 3800 megahertz RAM so yeah, it was obviously the API's problem once we changed it to Vulkan, the bottleneck was solved and the performance boost was crazy, crazy, crazy good so basically this video shows how going from a bad API to a good API with a game engine that actually takes advantage of it is massive, the difference is massive. If you have a newer game engine using for example the X11 is, is a shit, is, is basically a crap, sorry for the language but it is, it is the true. So newer game engines should always use DirectX 12 or Vulkan, but mostly Vulkan if possible. Even an implementation of this API in a game that was not made to use this API will make a big difference. A big difference. For example, Ghost Recon released with the X11 and having an implementation to Vulkan API completely changed the performance in this game and in other games as well. For example, in Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption 2 uses the X12 and still going from the X12 to Vulcan makes a huge, huge difference. Somehow the X12 has higher minimums but that doesn't really reflect much on real world performance. But Vulcan does. Once you pass to Vulcan the average FPS raises from like 55 to 80 and you can really notice the performance difference in every resolution. So, yeah, like I said, please developers start using Vulkan as your main API. 
And well guys, there's not much more to say. Thanks a lot for watching, really. Thank you a lot for watching. Um, don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video because sharing is caring. And also, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about this video because I really, I really like to see people commenting in the videos and telling me what they think or not because I like to chat with my viewers a lot. So one more time, thanks a lot and see you in the next one.